Russia has become a menace to France in view of its actions. French Prime Minister. Russia has become a menace to France in view of its actions since the onset of the Ukraine conflict. French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal told the Senate defending President Emmanuel Macron's earlier suggestion of potentially sending Western troops to Ukraine. Macron's words came after a meeting of Ukraine's sponsors in Paris on Monday. No consensus was reached on the prospect of sending ground troops to aid Kiev, he told the press. However, the French president promised to stop at nothing to make sure Russia does not win in Ukraine. Responding to questions in the French Senate about the remarks, Attal insisted that Russia has hardened its stance towards France over the course of the conflict. He accused Moscow of spreading false information while engaging in attempts of destabilization and cyber attacks. The reality is that Russia is a direct and immediate threat to France on all levels. He insisted that the French leader's statements were responsible and echoed Macron's view on the need to ramp up military aid to Ukraine, explaining that he may have been speaking of troops being sent to provide technical support to Kiev's army rather than to fight. Atal suggested that such a deployment may include training Ukrainian troops in ground-to-air defense or protecting certain borders. European officials balked, however, quickly denying that they had any intention to put boots on the ground in Ukraine. From skeptics, Hungary and Slovakia, to staunch pro-Ukraine nations such as Poland and Germany, governments insisted that no such plans were in motion. The same message came from NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg and Washington. Kaliningrad will become one of the main centers of the Russia-NATO war. The states of the North Atlantic Alliance will react if Russia dares to challenge the bloc aiming at Kaliningrad in the first place, thinks the Lithuanian ambassador to Sweden, Linas Linkevichas. According to him, after Sweden's NATO accession, the Baltic Sea has become an internal NATO sea. If Russia dares to challenge NATO, Kaliningrad would be neutralized first. Russia's previous false accusations that it is surrounded by NATO are now becoming a reality. Linkovichas emphasized. At the same time, the diplomat did not specify what exactly he meant by the word neutralized. Sweden actively pursued membership to ensure a collective defense strategy following in the footsteps of Finland, which joined NATO in April last year. Nevertheless, analysts have warned that Sweden, once a non-aligned Nordic country, may now face increased risks of being drawn into conflicts. Sweden's NATO membership means the abandonment of its historical policy of non-alignment and neutrality. Analysts argue that NATO's continued enlargement will reshape European security dynamics and potentially strain Russia's geopolitical position. Nicholas Locker and Heli Hortela from the Center for the New American Security expressed concerns that Moscow may perceive NATO's expansion as a threat, leading to short- and long-term challenges. Russian Defense Ministry publications warn of the security implications of NATO troops and equipment on Finnish and Swedish territory. Locker and Hortela highlighted that Russia's border with NATO will extend from the Arctic Ocean to the Baltic Sea, which will permanently alter the European security architecture and erode Russia's geopolitical position. Russia's attack on NATO. Expert names condition and several scenarios. Russia could potentially launch an attack on NATO countries if it has the resources for another military conflict besides the ongoing war against Ukraine. This could occur following the so-called Crimean scenario. However, such an attack could unfold through several scenarios beyond the Crimean one. According to Alexander Musienko, the head of the Center for Military Legal Studies, the type of war considered is crucial. While a full-scale aggression like the one seen in the war with Ukraine is unlikely, a conflict following the Crimean scenario is entirely feasible. If we take a war with the use of aviation, long-range missiles, cyber attacks, provoking unrest within NATO countries, with little green men who can land in a conventional Latvia, Lithuania or Estonia, then it is possible. The entire Russian military machine is preparing to wage a war against NATO. Musienko said in a commentary to RBC Ukraine. According to the analyst, there are several conflict scenarios between NATO and Russia, one of which is the previously mentioned Crimean scenario. 
For example, a month or two later, in Latvia, where there is a Russian-speaking community, some kind of unrest begins, during which helicopters from Belarus arrive, from which little green men land and begin to support the unrest. At this time, NATO will try to decide whether it was Russia that attacked or some terrorists, he explained. Another scenario, according to Musienko, is an attempted Russian landing on Gotland, the largest Swedish island in the Baltic Sea, using the Baltic Sea as a base. Alternatively, Russian ships could block Denmark's exit to the Baltic Sea to see how NATO would react, whether it would shell the Russian ships or try to force them back to the Baltic Sea. Russian aggression towards Poland is totally possible, the expert believes. Such aggression is always considered from two potential directions, Belarus and Kaliningrad, and accordingly, this Suwalki corridor. This is the most threatening direction, he explained.